Thank you for watching our video. Please give us a big like, subscribe to our channel for new videos every day with amazing cars. Leave us your opinion in the comment section on the video. Thank you. The British racing icon Sir Sterling Moss may have retired from life in the spotlight, but his legacy lives on in the countless race cars he's piloted through the years, many of which show up for sale from time to time. The latest car to go to auction, once graced by Moss' presence, is a 1965 Jaguar E-Type Roadster offered by H&H Classics in the United Kingdom. According to the H&H Classics website, the C-Type semi-lightweight Roadster was the first E-Type that Sterling Moss ever raced competitively. While he was a Jaguar Works driver for some time, Moss didn't touch a racing spec E-Type until this car was loaned to him for the 1991 Manx Mountain Challenge at the Isle of Man. The car was later campaigned by touring car champion Wynne Percy at the 40th anniversary Jaguar E-Type race at the Donington Park racetrack in 2001. The C-Type semi-lightweight gets its name from the weight-saving, aluminum Abbey panels hood it sports. It started life as a regular Series 1 E-Type Roadster, but was converted to street-legal racing specifications in the 1980s by Jaguar XK aficionado Jeremy Broad. In addition, it sports a factory 4.2-liter and line 6 engine and Getrag 5-speed transmission. The car is hitting the auction block June 5 at the Royal Automobile Club in Woodcote Park, England as part of the prestigious H&H &H Classics and Motorsports Hall of Fame auction. It's expected to sell from $148,000 to $175,000. That's expensive even for an E-Type, but we gladly live and ramen for the rest of our lives to own this car. Thank you for watching our video. Please give us a big like, subscribe to our channel for new videos every day with amazing cars. Leave us your opinion in the comment section on the video. Thank you.